Hi, I'm Michelle of Slovenska Kuhinja, and welcome to my Slovenian kitchen. Fresh homemade strawberry cake. In Slovenian, we call it Jagodna Pita. The essence of simplicity, like so many Slovenian baking recipes, this is an impressively quick and easy recipe to follow. It will certainly be a crowd pleaser at your next picnic and get together, and it will make a perfect complement on any dessert table or potluck. You will literally watch it disappear so fast, right before your eyes. Are you ready? Let's get started. We're gonna just need one bowl and we're going to be adding in all of our ingredients together. So we're gonna begin by adding in five eggs, one cup of sugar, one cup of oil, and then we're going to need two cups of flour. I like to always sift my flour. It helps break up the lumps in the flour. We're also gonna be adding in two teaspoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of vanilla. I love using the Dr. Oetker vanilla package. If you can't find that, you can always use one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, once we mix this all together, you will notice the batter. And if you feel that the batter is a little too runny, you can always add a little bit more flour. I would add about a tablespoon at a time. And then if you think if it's too thick, you can always add a little bit of water. And this is the batter and the consistency that you're going to be looking for. Okay, now it's time to prepare the strawberries. I like to soak mine in a bowl of water on the counter for about 20 minutes before I chop and slice the strawberries. Now it's total preference if you prefer to slice your strawberries thin or if you like it a little bit more chunkier. I do a bit of both because it's a treat with each bite. And now we're just going to sprinkle on a quarter cup of sugar, as well as zest from half a lemon. We're just going to spray or grease the inside of a 9 by 13 inch dish or you can use a non-stick pan and then we're going to line it with some parchment paper. And the parchment paper is a nice little trick to help with easy removal once it's done baking. And now we're just going to be adding in half of the batter. We're going to spread that in really nicely and then we're going to top it with all of the strawberries. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you never miss any new recipes. Okay, now that we've added all of our strawberries to the first layer of the batter, we are going to top it off with the rest of the remaining batter. Okay, so the oven has been preheating. We're going to bake this delicious cake in a 350 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. Mmm, <laughs> this Jagodna Pita, homemade fresh strawberry cake, smells so delicious. You get hints of vanilla, you can smell the lemon and the strawberries. Oh, I can't wait to take my first bite. And there you have it, fresh homemade strawberry cake, Jagodna Pita. If you enjoy watching my videos, please give me a great big thumbs up below, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the bell so you never miss any new recipes. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again next time when I share another delicious recipe from my Slovenian kitchen. 
Until then, Nazdravia and Dobrotek. Adio!